Yeah. All right, let me get on it. Yeah, give me it. It's open. It, the front, the gun depression opens up that panel because uh, it can do that. I did not know that was a. Huh. Look at this. Over here. Yeah, this, this panel opens when there's full depression. Yeah, but look at this over here. It's open. Yeah, it's completely open. That's not the that's not the gunner's position or the commander's position. I think that's the gunner's uh, optics. Let's see if I can get in there. Oh yeah. That's sweet. Now that we know this is easy to get in, get on. Yeah. I should say, you can probably actually maybe go in this later. I just kind of want to take some close-ups. Yeah, this is like rare stuff. Gotta get in there. Sight. This piece. Yeah. Probably very heavy. See if I can get a view in the driver. You can kind of see it. Technically speaking, we should be able to open this. Yeah, we should. It's, it's just heavy, very heavy. This is a good angle on everything. Mm hmm. Come up here. It does. Makes me wonder about its effectiveness, especially seeing it was supposed to replace the Sheridan. Well, I'm I'm guessing it's better than Sheridan, at least. <laughs> I mean, it's somewhat. Yeah. I'd say. I'm not too sure though, because think about this: the Sheridan could shoot ATGMs. Yeah. Which is very useful. It also was a bunker buster. It's true. So, I guess that's my one question: like, is this actually better? I mean, the one. The breach is, is not touched. Let me see. What do you mean not touched? Like you can see, it's not cut at all. That's a full breach. Yeah, it is. It's even got the stickers on it still. It's really cool. Okay, that's sick. 